third and a long four for the Giants. Takes a snap. Quarterback rolls out. Hands off to him, 27. He'll go to the far side of the football field. Looks for some blockers. And he'll get run out of bounds, but it'll be good for a first down. He'll take it to about the 11 yard line, 12 yard line. And it looks like a timeout called by the Greyhounds. They need to talk it over. The Giants are running this football down their throat. Keep it here, open back here on top of the Continue to cover to the 2017 Typhus Football here in McAllen, Texas. Joey T, son of Mike and Patty Teague and longtime Typha members, was born with cystic fibrosis. Despite this, Joey went to school, graduated with honors from Judson High School, and attended the University of Texas at San Antonio for three years, all while struggling to stay healthy. Joey also coached in Typha with the Live Oak Jaguars from 1998 to 2006 and was a husband and father. Joey passed away in 2007. The Joey T. Typha Volunteer of the Year Award was established to recognize and bring attention to the many volunteers who helped make Typha one of the premier leagues in Texas and the nation through heartfelt passion, enthusiastic commitment, and a contagious spirit, all of which epitomized Joey T. and all that he gave to youth sports. For more information or to nominate a volunteer from your organization for the Joey T. Typha Volunteer of the Year Award, send your nominee's name, contact information, and a short bio as to what makes them a great volunteer. You can send the information to helpdesk at typha.com. That's helpdesk at typha.com. The Joey T. Typha Volunteer of the Year Award. Recognize your volunteer. You're listening to Typha Radio, part of the Typha Sports Network. Up the middle again, the Texas Giants go and again with another hard run with number 37. Giants numbers are hard to look at here. As he lost a shoe on the play as well, it's number 37. Names on the back and blown up for the Giants as he pushes it forward another two or three yards. Brings up second down. Three back set for the Giants. Made a motion goes to the far side, stops in the slot, takes a snap, rolls out, looking the pass. But put him there, right over in and out of the head. Couldn't get up on it. Would have been a nice open touchdown. Instead, it falls incomplete. First pass play by the Texas Giants. down play coming up. Takes a snap. They'll pitch it. Swing play here to the near side. Gets past one tackle. He's got a block in front. That will cut inside. Nice run as he gets him to the end zone. Touchdown. Number 27 that time on the run. Extra point try coming up. Takes a snap, hands it off. Comes through to the middle side. He's going to get wrapped up. And he'll get taken down, cut down before he can get into the end zone. Extra point is no good. 13 for the Texas Giants. Zero for the San Benito Greyhounds. So next game's coming up. We're going to be on field six all day long. We're going to be here. The next game is the Jimmy Barons taking on the Southside Colts. Here to see the matchup. Yeah. 
So they'll get lined up for the kickoff. 13 to 0 is our score. The Texas Giants coming in playing some smash mouth football on the San Bernardino Greyhounds. Greyhounds just unable to stop their running backs. A lot of whistles going on around us, but we want to make sure we get the right whistle that's blowing here on the field. There's the kick. Sends it up the field. And it'll get past the San Diego player. They'll turn it up at about the 45 yard line. They'll try to try to come through to the middle. Cuts inside. And they'll get taken down. They'll get a big hit on the return. They'll get him at about the 15 yard line. Yard marker, so it's kind of hard to tell where we're at in the football field. Our second game is scheduled to start at 10:30. Then at 12 p.m., we've got the Tri County Titans and the Cypress Tigers. That promises to be a good one. Looks like we just ended the first quarter of play. Our score of 13 for the Giants, zero for the Greyhounds. Keep it here. We'll be right back here on Tiger Radio. In an effort to recognize scholastic excellence, TIFA created the Scholastic Awards Program. The Sean Anthony Richardson Academic Excellence Team was established after eight-year-old Sean, who played for the league in 2003 in the rookie division, tragically passed away on January 1st of 2004 in a vehicle accident. His parents were longtime friends of the TIFA founders. The winners of this award will receive $100, a certificate of accomplishment, and a congratulatory letter from TIFA. In addition, the winners' names will be placed on the TIFA website in the Hall of Fame. Those that qualify but do not win will receive a congratulatory letter from TIFA as an honorable mention. To qualify, a child must be ages 8 to 13 for football players and 8 to 15 for cheerleaders as of August 1st of the current year. They must have a 98% or better GPA, be participating in the rookie, junior, or senior levels, and meet all other requirements set forth in the rules. If one or more of your players or cheerleaders qualify, send their information with supporting info to helpdesk at typha.com. That's helpdesk at typha.com. The Sean Anthony Richardson Academic Excellence Team, awarding excellence in the classroom. You're listening to Typha Radio, part of the Typha Sports Network. Say now play here for San Benito after the kickoff as we start the second quarter. 13-0 is our score. No room on that play. It's going to take it down. First play on first down. They had about a five, six yard run on the play. Bring the third down for San Benito. They have the ball at about their own 20 yard line. Under center. Double slot to the far side, takes the snap, hands it off to the little tailback. Number 30 is a throw in the backfield, will get taken down. They get number 31 to force San Diego on the carry. Big 69 for the Giants getting in the backfield, disrupting that play, takes him down. That's going to be a fourth down loss of about four yards on that play. For the Greyhounds, takes a snap, they're going to punt the ball, sends it up the field, and it'll take a somewhat nice bounce and goal for San Benito, down the football. 
like at about the 45 yard line, 44 yard line of the Greyhounds. First down for the Giants, up 13 to 0 in this football game. That's that for the Giants going left to right now here in the second quarter up 13 0. They'll hand it off. Off tackle here on the near side. And gets wrapped up. They'll finally take it down. But not the point who gets first down the yardage. It'll be close. And they will call it first down. It's like number 37 Lerma on the carry again for the Giants. Very impressed with this Texas Giants team. They come out with a smash mouth attitude. Just running right up the gut on these teams. Good block for downfield. And they're running, they're good hard runners. They don't go down after first contact. Under center. Takes the snap. Hands it off. In trouble. Number 27 on the carry. And this time they'll be taken down in the backfield. Could be like number 43 for the Greyhounds get in that backfield and making the tackle. All spotted about the 36. Six thirty seven yard line to Alex in the game. Takes a snap. Go pitch it. Cuts outside. Just outside the tackle that time. They get tripped up, not before he gains more about two or three yards on the play. So they'll get a few of those yards they lost and make it about third and nine. Zion every Wednesday starting at 8 p.m. here on Typhoon Radio. We'll recap the 2017 Spring Bowl and start our 2017 fall preseason preview. As we start interviewing teams, new organizations coming into the league. Third down play here for the Giants. Under center takes the snap. Rolls out, look at the pass. They center here on the near sideline and receiver was open. He got past two man coverage, but was behind him and a little to the outside, and he was not ready for the pass. It falls in complete things up fourth down. So fourth and nine coming up here for the Giants. Two wideouts on each side for the Giants. Center back set in the pistol. Giving the Greyhounds a different look. Takes a snap. Hands it off on a trial play. And breaks one tight, but he's not going to break the second one. If he gets taken down in the backfield, that'll be a turnover on downs. So a good defensive stand that time for the Sydney and the Greyhounds as they stop the Giants on a fourth down play. They get the football at their own 35 yard line. As a bit, we'll try to give you updates on any scores that come in. In the second quarter in juniors, 6 0, the Texas Bad Boys leading the Tri County. No, anyway, Tri County Titans leading the Texas Bad Boys 6 0. And we.